Lacey, are you ready? Okay, Chris. Lacey, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Now look right down here at me. Yeah. I'll lay down the floor if it's better. Yeah. <laughs> I love this getting, yeah. getting you clown around. Um, Talk to me, Ken. It's uh, it's June. Yes, it is. And you, a few days ago, you were in Fort Wayne. Roughly, you were in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yes, I was. And tell me about. <laughs> What you did there, and then I'll ask questions well, as we go along. Well, uh, we were visiting uh, Jack and Joanne, who are from our park, mm -hmm. and to see Joe and Doris, who are no longer coming out to our park. Okay. And while we were there, Jack suggested that we go see his son Bob's uh, chicken farm. Bob has approximately eight million chickens. Wait, wait, wait! How many? Eight million in chickens. In eight chicken farms. No, in uh, three chicken farms. Oh, okay. So. And the one chicken farm we went to was his newest chicken farm. Okay. And it only had two and a half million chickens. Now that's not counting the three hundred thousand brown chickens that he had at this farm that are what they call. Loose. They're not in cages. Now, what's the difference between a brown chicken and a white chicken? One of them's brown, one of them's white. What about the eggs that they lay? They're, one of them's brown, one of them's white. But the, the taste of the egg, they get the same uh, it's feed, easy. and it's the same egg, even though my wife... Oh, no. Brown, brown, uh, brown eggs are much better, right? No. They're the same egg as a white egg. Same feed, same everything. Flavor? Everything? Nothing. It actually costs more to feed the brown chickens because they're larger chickens. And they eat so much more? And they eat more. And that's why we have to pay more for brown eggs? You got it. I'm that not getting a better egg? And you're not getting any better egg than a white egg. That's bogus. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that's, that's the way it is. Okay, so you go, you go into this place. And we had to put on full body uh, uniform before we could mm -hmm. go see the chickens in the protection of the chickens, not us. Did it look like spacesuits? Yes, and every everyone thought that. Um, well, wait a minute. You're in a, you're in a chicken farm. You don't. Yeah. You, you, it's not sanitary. Oh yes, it is. Tell me, what is it like? All sorts. Of, it's you could eat off the floor. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, I'm serious. Isn't there chicken poop and everything? No, no, and it doesn't smell. What? Everyone thinks it smells, but it does not smell. How, because all the chicken poop is taken out by a conveyor belt, and it's put through a dryer, and the, it dries it, and then they store it in a room and sell it to the farmers for fertilizer. And that's that big mound that we're looking that's at, that big, big mound. mound. Yes, it is. And it's it totally is. odorless. Odorless. Is it tasteless? I do not know. I didn't try it. I, I did get a free dozen eggs while you we did? were there, yes, except we left them in Fort Wayne but, because we couldn't travel with eggs. Wow. Yeah, because they would hatch and be little chickens or something. So like you, you shot these uh, cell phone videos on your Apple, your iPod. Mm -hmm. uh, iPhone. iPhone, yeah, excuse me. Well, excuse me, That's iPhone. That's right, iPhone. Uh, now, this, just describe... The, the size of this and the conveyors and okay. what's, the, what's Each, the first thing you kind of see when, when you go in when there? You, when we went in mm -hmm. to where the chickens were, there yeah. were 12 rows that had chickens on each side. So you had 24 rows of chickens that were uh, six uh, rows high. Um, three rows was six foot, so that would be 12 foot. Then there was a catwalk and there'd be another 12 foot of six rows of chickens. And uh, each cage was about, how wide is that? About 12, maybe? Well, that's yeah, about 30 about inches. 12, 15 mm -hmm. inches wide, 15, 12, 15 inches deep was a cage. It would have eight to 10 chickens in that cage. In that little cage? In the little cage. How do they breathe? <laughs> well, they breathe through their mouths. Mm -hmm. and everyone thinks they breathe through their nose, but mm -hmm. through their mouth. Well, how how many how often do they lay eggs? They lay roughly each chicken averages eight eggs in eight to ten days. 
And when they lay these eggs, do they fall through the little thing in no. the bottom? No, they, the chicken coop itself is at a little bit of a slant so that the egg gently rolls down that into a conveyor belt out of the cage and then is taken to the processing plant. And describe that, when that, let's follow that egg. Okay, well the egg goes on this conveyor. to a conveyor belt that goes up a conveyor belt that Way puts high. it on to a, a larger conveyor belt that they all just slowly roll onto. It's not a fast operation. And then they go to um, the processing place where they're washed first. All right. How do they know to wash them by hand, or how do they? No, no. It's got an automatic, as you can see on the screen. There's mm -hmm. an automatic washer that uh, washes every egg, and if it, they also take a picture of every single egg as it's going through, and the picture tells them if there's a crack in the egg, and if there is, they discard it uh, automatically. It's not done by hand. It's all done by machine. And what if some of the eggs didn't get quite clean? Then they are. You mean this thing reseeds separate, separate conveyor belt that will take them around and they'll put them back they through the washing machine and do it again. Oh, wow. wow. It's all automated. He started out where he had like two or three million chickens and he had 350 employees. He now has eight million chickens and 300 employees because of automation. And he's gotten uh, a lot of his equipment from uh, Italy, who has developed all this high -tech. chicken. High tech. Yeah, high tech stuff. Yeah. So this, this gives a new meaning to the phrase a chicken shed operation. That's right. It does. <laughs> it does. Now, how many eggs? Does, he, does it make a year or whatever, well, a month he, or whatever? He, he, he ran out of eggs at Easter. And when you consider he roughly gets around 64 million eggs a month. A month? But he sells it to all the Kroger stores in 20 states, uh, east, yeah, east of the Mississippi. A lot of eggs. He manufactures, or not manufactures, but he, he produces um, two or three billion eggs a year. Now the chickens, because each cage is inspected every single day, wow. every single cage, and the inspector, sometimes there's a dead bird, they'll take the dead bird out. Sometimes there's an older bird, uh, they, can, they have a counter on all of these crates, or all the cages of the birds, so they know how many eggs each cage is producing. Therefore, if, if one week it produced 80 eggs and the next week it was only 60, then they know there's something wrong. And so then they sometimes will take out chickens and they can sell those chickens. Um, they're not ones that you'll find in the grocery store. Uh -huh. those, these chickens are um, more shredded uh, because the breast of the chicken is very thin because it's not, it's not, it's producing eggs rather than uh, with steroids and so forth to mm -hmm. grow. These chickens have no steroids, no artificial stuff. They're fed uh, regular grain and, and vitamins and minerals in that grain, mm -hmm. but their breast is so thin that it, they are used just for shredded type meals for chicken. Uh, not chickens, but for people. I mean. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing operation. It makes you look at the egg uh, carton area uh, mm -hmm. differently than <laughs> what you had. Um, he has refrigerated trucks, and they load it right there. They carton them up. It's all automated, and uh, put, put them in the truck, and then they ship them uh, in a refrigerated truck. Once the chicken egg is dry, uh, is, is, um, washed and dried, then it is taken into a room at 40 degree temperature and they never get out of that area. I mean, on the truck, 40 degrees, and then into the uh, grocery store counters. Wow. It's an amazing operation. Yeah. And it was really neat to go through. Oh, man. Yeah. Now, where was this again? In Fort Wayne, Indiana.
actually outside of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hmm. Sort of in Fort Wayne. Wow. But he has three chicken farms. Now, on the, going to, back to the brown chickens real quick. Mm -hmm. You said they're loose. Mm -hmm. Did you walk out among them? No, no. No, oh. they were in a, in, a, in, a, in a house type thing. The chicken house is yeah, loose. Yeah, chicken house, but they were loose, yeah. Be but we didn't go in there. And they're loose because, once again? Um, why not? I guess. I do not know. Because they got a range? Well, I think because they're bigger. Oh, they're huge. Well, they're not huge, but they're they're bigger, mm -hmm. and, and so they need more room. And um, uh, the, the problem with the loose chickens or white ones is you always have a dominant chicken, and that dominant chicken then will peck at the other chickens. But well, how do they keep that dominant one from killing all these chickens? They don't. That's why they do that. They clip their bills. Yeah. But that still, they still will peck at them, mm -hmm. even though they're not really. You mean there has to be a dominant chicken in every cage? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dominant chicken in every cage, and there's also a very inferior chicken in every cage. And normally he'll have no feathers on his back and everything because the other chickens have pecked at him. Wow. Except that they don't have much of a pecker. Yeah. Beak. That's a. <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs>